Hello and welcome to another V video. Today we're going to take a look at the Comic Con V drops that happened this week. There were a total of three drops. So I'm going to show you what I managed to pick up. I'll talk a bit about the collectibles. I'll show you the collectibles and I'll talk a bit about the marketplace prices as well. So these are the collectibles that I managed to pick up. I took the screen recording a bit earlier on. So I actually bought two more of the Bill and Ted uh, posters that dropped earlier today, but they aren't here yet. But I'll show you the posters later on in my showroom. But yeah, I think pretty good drops. Let's take a look at the collectibles themselves. So like I said, this is the Bill and Ted Bogus Journey poster. This was 65 gems retail price. Um, there were a total of like 1,991, I think. So at the back, you can see as that Mondo logo. Um, I bought one at retail price, so 65. And I bought another two for like 140 gems each. Uh, they were both three digits, so like 970 something. And I bought two of them. So the current floor price is like 118. Over here we have the Assassin. This is one of the most popular Jermaine Rogers um, rabbit designs. So this was the Uncommon, retailed for 50 gems. Uh, I bought this for 300 because I wanted a 3-digit mint. Um, I actually bought a regular one with some random mint number for retail price 50 gems and I sold it for 245 which is a bit too early because the prices were dropping quite a bit. It dropped like 240 yesterday. But now the flow has stabilized at about 340, so I could have sold it for quite a bit more. Over here we have the Cthulhu, this is the bronze one, the total of three Cthulhu's. The bronze was the least popular, even though they were all rares and uh, quantities were all the same. So this retailed for 50 gems, there were like 1,952 I think. And uh, this one, the flow was like 140 now I think. I paid 170 I think for this one, because I'm on the three digit mint. And yeah, like I said, floor is like 140. I bought a regular random mint from the uh, store at retail price and I sold it for like 140 yesterday. The final collectible we have here is the Protector. This is the common Jermaine Rogers Choices Rabbit. So this was 40 gems retail. There were 2,222 of them available. Uh, similar to the other Choices Rabbits, you can see Jermaine Rogers' signature below. So this was 40 gems retail. Floor is at 140 now, I think. I paid 160 for this one because I wanted a 3 digit mint. So those were my pickups, let's take a look at the collectibles in my showroom. So here you can see I put one of the uh, Bill and Ted posters at the entrance, I think it looks really cool. That demon artwork, really nice and you can walk through it so it creates the effect like you know you're going through sort of like a portal to hell. So I'm going to move this poster aside so we've got a bit more space. All right, let's take a look at what I picked up over here. So we've got the two Jermaine Rogers rabbits. We've got the two posters behind and we've got the bronze uh, Cthulhu. So honestly speaking, these drops did a lot better than I expected. Even though there were drops one after another, the prices in the marketplace were pretty good. So like the Cthulhu's, which retailed for 50 gems each, they were going for 200 gems right after the drop. And the lowest it went to was like 100 what was it like 130 for the bronze and about 180 for the jade and the gold ones the book was like was like 270 lower so pretty profitable the Jermaine Rogers rabbits that was the most profitable one like the commons the lowest I've seen the commons go were like 110 uh, uncommons 220 I think the rest 380 the ultra rares were always above 800 so extremely profitable the least profitable ones were the posters. I always say that 2D posters don't do that well. But even then, they were going for almost double. So like the lowest I've seen the posters go for were just under 100. So like some of the Bill and Ted posters were like 95. While the uh, Jaws and Back to the Future doors were above 200. So right now Jaws is like 250 floor price. So yeah, pretty profitable, good drops. Um, I'm seeing the prices and other collectibles go down a bit in the marketplace. So because like Comic Con didn't really work out for Vive, uh, prices have started to drop quite a bit, which is also a good thing. So if you're missing out on certain things, it's worth picking them up in a couple days. I'm not too sure there's going to be a drop tomorrow. I don't think so because Vive hasn't announced anything. If anything, I think it might be Edo, but I guess we'll see tomorrow. Um, otherwise, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with these drops. I mean, we didn't get any major licenses, but I still think these look pretty cool. I'm glad I got them. Um, I didn't make much money, in fact I lost quite a lot because I spent quite a lot on the marketplace but yeah, pretty pleased with what I got. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more V videos to come soon.